Hi, I'm Joshua Whitfield, and this is my closet in my parents' house. Yes, I'm in a closet talking about wrestling in my parents' house. This is Wrestling Wednesdays. See how I did that like Paul Heyman when he used to point his hand in the air and say things that made it seem like it was bigger than it really was because he's Paul Heyman. I came up with that thing on my own so that makes it important, I hope. I'm doing this because I love wrestling. Why not make wrestling a part of your everyday struggle? At least one day out of the week, you can give wrestling fans what they all love. An opportunity to judge somebody else. I'm your guy. Best way to get people to know you is to debate. Debate about greatest matches of all time. Number eight, the first ever match between the brothers Hart. Owen and Brett, that is. WrestleMania 10. Wow. I went to a match where I was only one years old. But like I said, it's not just one factor that made this match great. It was everything. When you go back and look at the history of the buildup for this match, you have a lot of emotions going into this match. A lot, a lot of underlying factors that made this match great before it even started. The fact that Owen and Brett were brothers who were having a quarrel and it emotionally affected a lot of people because they were able to relate. And then you go into WrestleMania 10 and you're thinking, we're about to witness Brett the Hitman Hart versus his own brother. And then these two men just put on a clinic as if they had done this many, many, many times. It was almost like we got a glimpse of what they did in the dungeon with their father and all the other greats from Canada. It was that great. I mean, it was technicians at his best. It was entertaining. I mean, to see Owen do one move and then do this in Brett's face and go, whoa, I'm a Braveheart. All that was there in that match. You had Vince McMahon and I believe Jerry the King Lawler were on commentary, so that was big. You had it was WrestleMania. It was the first match of the night, and this was actually kind of sort of like a main event too. So a lot of things went into this match, and I literally watched this match and just was like, "Wow!" If fans were chanting, "This is awesome!" in 1994, that match would have got that because it was that great. It had everything you could ever ask for in a wrestling match beyond just wrestling, you know, and then the shocker of the night, Owen won. Do you know how huge that was? Especially at that time, Bret Hart was the number one guy in professional wrestling in 1994. Number one, and Owen beat him, fair and square actually. So this was one of the few times where the WWE said, hey, we're going to give a guy a chance and we're going to put him against the number one guy because rem remind you, Brett won the WWE title that night also. So, and he just lost to Owen. So this automatically put Owen into a position where the rest is history. He ended up becoming a two-time Slammy winner, Intercontinental Champ, I believe. No, he didn't win the European title. Tag team champion, should have been a WWE champion. It would have been amazing for that to happen, but it was just everything you could ask for for a match, and I love that match so much, and I really, really wish that Owen was still here. But I'm not gonna get sappy on you because this is the internet, and sappy is crap.